What's in the box, you're asking? It's a good question. Well, stick with me, and I'll share what's inside here because I think you'll find it interesting. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're going to open this box. I've had this box for a while, and I've been very excited to open it. Uh, as I've mentioned in a couple prior episodes, I've been working on building out a couple new shops, both sort of a machine shop and electronics lab. And this is going to go in the electronics lab. Now, uh, it took me a little while to find this, and it wasn't cheap, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. So enough with the rambling. Let's unbox it. Okay, so here we are. It is a stereoscopic, actually a uh, trifocal or triscopic um, microscope. So you might be asking yourself, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, why a stereo microscope? Well, let me share this with you. So I like to watch the, uh, it's, I think it's Andreas Spies, you know, the uh, Swiss guy with the funny accent as he calls himself. So he's got one of these, and and he did a... A video on it a while back and I was super impressed because one of the big challenges especially as you get older is your eyesight in electronics especially surface mount aren't getting any bigger and one of the things with the stereoscopic microscope is you get depth of field with a non stereoscopic microscope what happens is you lose that depth of field and, and, and this is the one of the things because I have um, kind of nice USB microscope camera but the problem is when you're working underneath of it um, you don't have a depth of field so if you're trying to solder a part remove a part or work on something it, it's really really difficult but with a stereoscopic microscope like this it's much much easier and it also has the adapter for the camera now I've ordered the camera separately I'll do another video on that when that comes in uh, I ordered a 21 megapixel camera that does 1080p as well as uh, 21 megapixel stills and also does it to a, a micro SD card so one of the reasons for the camera port is I want to take you guys on a journey with me and looking at some of this stuff in detail and to do that, having the camera port makes it very easy. Now, I purchased a 21 megapixel 1080p um, camera. It's got HDMI out. It's got USB out. You can save to an SD card. And I'll do a complete video on that in the future. Um, however, I think I'm really excited for this thing. Now, the other piece that I also got, which made this very expensive, is this piece over here. Um, which is really the bracket. It's a very heavyweight bracket. And, and actually, here is the base. And this thing is heavy. And what happens is this slide mount sits in this base. This head sits in here. And you can slide it back and forth. And so you can move it in and out. Uh, you can work on rather large uh, PC boards without having to move the microscope. You can move it out of your way when you're not using it without m having to physically move the base of the microscope. So I'm rather excited about this whole thing. So stay tuned. There's going to be far more on this. Now, the other pieces that I got, which was good advice from Andreas in his video, is I got the Barlow. This, this version comes with a Barlow on it. Uh, what basically, uh, I think it's 1.5 reducer, so I can keep this up above the work area, so I can have a fume extractor running, pulling the um, solder smoke away, and it won't be following a fouling if I spit that out right in my lens on the bottom of the microscope. So, anyways, I'm really excited about this. Now, I also have this uh, LED light setup too, which goes on the bottom, and so. Uh, again, I'm pretty excited about getting this all working because I'm doing a couple things with electronics where this is going to come in super handy. So I wanted to do just a quick unboxing. Um, I'll do some more in the future once I put it together. I won't bore you with that. I just simply wanted to share this with you, uh, what I was getting in for my lab, in case you're interested. I'll have some links down below. This was not cheap, but I think it's a worthwhile purchase. And it's one of those purchases that will last for a long time. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Swag shop over there. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you got one like this, something like it, what you think of it. Uh, any pro tips, hit me up in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.
please click like below and subscribe to the channel.